There are several common characteristics shared by all animals such as a bear, snake, jellyfish, spiders, and humans. The animal kingdom consists of multicellular eukaryotes. Animal evolution began 600 million years ago with the primitive creature having a basic lifestyle. Over time, the anatomy, embryological development, and genetic makeup evolved to a more complex creature. Almost all animals have specialized tissue. Those are similar cells, such as nervous tissue, muscle tissue, epithelial, and connective tissue. Various tissue form organs and variant organs form an organ system. Animals have specialized connective tissue that provide many functions including transport and structural support. Most animals are motile at least during some stage of their life. They are also heterotrophs or saprobes. They are dependent on autotrophic organisms such as plants. Most animals reproduce sexually. Usually there are vertebrates, that is that they, ha they have a backbone. Offspring pass through a series of developmental stages. Animal bodies are composed of diploid cells and in the haploid cells, are only present in reproductive structures such as the egg and the sperm. Animals without backbone may have some asexual reproductive processes such as budding and fragmentation. That is, a piece can be separated and it can grow into a new individual. Some fish, amphibians, and reptiles may exhibit these processes. In this chart, you can see the phylogenetic tree of animal is based on morphological, fossil, and genetic. Elements are classified according to morphological and developmental characteristics. The shape of the animal body is determined during developmental stage by a body plan. With the exception of sponges, the animal body is symmetrical. Most animals have the body parts in two planes. And additionally, the presence or absence of an internal body cavity during embryological development contributes to an animal's characteristic. Animal bodies may be asymmetrical, radial, or bilateral in plan. Asymmetrical animals have no symmetry and are generally no shape such as seen in animals such as a sponge. Radial symmetry can be seen in a jellyfish or sea anemone. The body can be divided in different planes. Bilateral symmetry is seen in humans as well as goat. A vertical plane will cut from front to back and separate into a mirror image. These animals have a left and right hand side. Earlier I mentioned that animals undergo embryonic development which dictates its appearance. During embryonic development of a hollow cluster of cells forms and this reorganizes into germ layers. There are three germ layers in bilateral symmetrical animals and two germ layers in radial symmetrical animals. Each layer develops into a specific set of tissues and organs. The three germ layers are ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. The ectoderm differentiates into the central nervous system, 
the epidermis and the hair. The endoderm develops organs such as stomach, liver, lungs, and intestines. The mesoderm provides red blood cells and bone tissue. Diploblast develop with two germ layers and triploblast with three germ layers. Internal body cavity called as a coelom is formed from the mesoderm. As seen in the images of a flatworm, annelids, and the nematode, each have a body cavity lined by the mesoderm tissue, hence they have a gut and a coelom. Protosomes include roundworms, mollusk, and arthropods. Develop the mouth part as first opening to the gut. Deuterosome include animals which develop a second opening on the dorsal surface call it as the anus. The majority of the invertebrates are protosomes. Sponges are animals of the phylum porifera. These multicellular with no symmetry and generally a body full of pores and channels to circulate water. They do not have nervous digestive or circulatory system. They are generally filter feeders, absorb food, food and adjust them. They also are hermaphrodites, meaning no male and female distinction. They do develop into free living larvae. Nidarians contain animals found only in aquatic environments, include jellyfish, sea anemone, and hydroids. They all have tentacles with stinging cells that are used to capture prey. Flatty helminthus includes simplest animals that are bilateral. First appearance of a trioblastic layer. They are generally unsegmented, however mainly flat in appearance. First appearance of the nervous cords and ganglion um, along with simple organs are present in this group. Nematodes are also called as roundworms. They generally are parasitic. They have tapered body at both ends and have a complete digestive system. Chitin is also present in the external surface to give its structural strength. They are usually present on the ocean floor and have a diverse life cycle. Some can be monoaceous, that is one sex, and others can be dioecious, meaning having both sexes. They look like long tubes. The arthropods have jointed legs and dominate the animal kingdom. Most arthropods have an exoskeleton and have segmented body. They have a head, thorax, and abdomen or the trunk area. They have an open circulatory system in which blood floods the internal organs rather than circulation. They do have a primitive respiratory system with trachea used to transport air throughout the body and opening it to the outside called as spiracles for gas exchange. The most predominant marine animals are the mollusk. They have the soft body and vary in body forms. They include snails, scallops. There are more than 100,000 species of mollusks. They have presence of gills for gas exchange. Some mollusks have shells. They have a mantle, the organ that secretes the shell. Phylum annelids are segmented worms found in aquatic and terrestrial habitats. They are segmented, however, they have a protective cuticle on the external surface. They have a closed circulatory system with a primitive heart. They also have a primitive kidney and gas exchange occurs across the body surface. 
earthworm and leeches are examples of annelids. Echinoderms are generally spiny and include species such as sea stars, sea cucumbers, and sea urchins. They have a pentaradial symmetry and an exoendoskeleton. These animals have a true gut, a portion of which is modified in a unique water vascular system. This system allows for gas exchange, nutrient circulation, and locomotion.